Hello, dear friends and brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. Before we begin today's message, I'd like to ask a special favor of you who are watching us. If this content touches your heart and builds up your life, please don't forget to help us out. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. Your comments are also very important to us, so don't hesitate to share your thoughts down below. Now, let's dive into God's Word and discover how to find hope in difficult times. The Nature of Christian Hope In a world full of uncertainties and challenges, hope becomes a precious commodity. But what exactly is Christian hope? Unlike worldly optimism, our hope is grounded in something much more solid, God's unfailing promises. The Bible teaches us in Romans chapter 15 verse 13, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. This verse reveals to us that God is not just the giver of hope, but He Himself is the source of it. When we face turbulent times, it's crucial to remember that our hope is not anchored in changing circumstances, but in God's unchanging character. He is faithful, even when everything around us seems to be falling apart. This truth gives us a radically different perspective on our trials. Recognizing God's presence in difficulties. Often when adversity strikes us, our natural tendency is to question, where is God at this moment? However, the scriptures assure us that he is always present, especially in the darkest moments. The psalmist David, who faced numerous tribulations, declared in Psalm 23 verse 4, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This passage reminds us that God not only observes us from afar, but walks with us through our struggles. Recognizing God's constant presence in the midst of difficulties not only comforts us, but also strengthens us. We know that we are not alone in our journey, no matter how arduous it may seem. This awareness empowers us to face challenges with a new perspective and renewed courage. Learning from trials. Adversities, although painful, often become our greatest teachers. The Apostle James exhorts us. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. James chapter 1 verses 2 to 3. This teaching may seem counterintuitive at first glance. How can we rejoice in the midst of suffering? The key is in understanding the divine purpose behind our trials. God doesn't allow us to go through difficulties without a reason. Each challenge has the potential to refine our character, strengthen our faith, and bring us closer to Christ. When we face difficult times with this mindset, we begin to see our struggles not as obstacles, but as opportunities for spiritual growth. This change in perspective allows us to find hope even in the most challenging circumstances. The power of community in maintaining hope. God never intended for us to face our battles alone. The Christian community plays a vital role in sustaining our hope during difficult times. The book of Hebrews instructs us and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 24 to 25. When we gather with other believers, whether in a local church, a small group, or even virtually, we create an environment where hope can flourish. We share our struggles, pray for each other, and remind one another of God's promises. This mutual support strengthens our faith and helps us maintain the right perspective in the midst of adversity. Moreover, as we witness how God has worked in the lives of other brothers and sisters in Christ, our own hope is revived. Their stories of overcoming and divine faithfulness become a living testimony to God's power and goodness, fueling our expectation that He will also act in our situation. Anchoring our hope in God's promises. In times of uncertainty, it's essential that we anchor our hope in something unshakable, God's promises. 
The Bible is full of divine guarantees that we can claim in times of difficulty. One of these powerful promises is found in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. This passage reminds us that, regardless of how things may appear at the moment, God has a greater plan in action. He sees beyond our current circumstances and is working for our ultimate good. Holding on to this truth gives us the strength to persevere, even when we can't see the end of our trials. Another comforting promise comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 17 to 18. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. This eternal perspective helps us relativize our present difficulties, reminding us that there is a greater purpose at work. Cultivating gratitude as a path to hope is one of the most powerful antidotes to despair. Even in the darkest moments, there is always something for which we can be thankful. The Apostle Paul, writing from prison, exhorted the Thessalonians, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 18. Cultivating a grateful heart in difficult times is not denying the reality of our struggles. Instead, it's consciously choosing to focus on the blessings we still have, no matter how small they may seem. This practice helps us maintain a balanced perspective and reminds us of God's ongoing faithfulness in our lives. By expressing gratitude, even in the midst of adversity, we are declaring our trust in God. We are acknowledging that, despite challenging circumstances, He is still good and worthy of praise. This attitude of worship opens the doors for us to experience divine peace and joy, which are fundamental to keeping our hope alive. Prayer is a vital tool for renewing our hope in difficult times. Through prayer, we have direct access to the throne of grace, where we can pour out our hearts before God and receive His strength and comfort. Philippians 4-6-7 instructs us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When we pray in the midst of difficulties, several things happen. First, we acknowledge our dependence on God, which is an act of humility and faith. Second, we express our concerns and fears to Him, allowing His peace to take the place of our anxiety. Third, we align our will with God's, seeking His guidance and wisdom for our situation. Moreover, prayer reminds us of who God is, His greatness, His power, and His love for us. When we contemplate God's character through prayer, our perspective changes. Our mountains of problems begin to seem small in comparison to the majesty of our God. Hope through the example of others. The Bible is full of stories of people who maintained hope in seemingly hopeless circumstances. These narratives are not only inspiring, but also instructive, showing us how we can respond with faith in our own struggles. Consider the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis. Sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused and imprisoned, Joseph had every reason to lose hope. However, he remained faithful to God and eventually saw how all his trials were part of the divine plan to save many lives. Or think of Job, who lost everything, family, wealth, and health, in a short span of time. Even in the midst of unimaginable anguish, Job declared, Though he slay me, yet will I hope in him. Job 13.15 His persistent hope in God, despite the circumstances, is a powerful testimony to us today. These examples remind us that we are not the first to face difficult times, nor will we be the last. They show us that it is possible to maintain hope even in the most challenging situations, and that God is faithful to fulfill His purposes in our lives, no matter how dark the present may seem. 
Hope as Testimony Our hope in difficult times not only benefits us, but also serves as a powerful testimony to others. The Apostle Peter exhorts us, But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. 1 Peter 3.15 when we maintain our hope in the midst of adversity, people around us notice. They see something different in us. A peace that transcends understanding. A joy that persists despite circumstances. This awakens curiosity and opens doors for us to share the gospel. Our unwavering hope in difficult times demonstrates the reality of God's transforming power in our lives. It shows the world that our faith is not just a set of beliefs, but a living relationship with a God who sustains and strengthens His children in all circumstances. Finally, our hope as Christians is grounded in the promise of a glorious future that God has prepared for us. The Apostle Paul reminds us, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Romans 8.18 This eternal perspective helps us contextualize our present struggles. We know that, no matter how difficult our current circumstances may be, they are temporary. One day, we will be in God's presence, where He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Revelation 21, 4 This future hope doesn't make us indifferent to present suffering. On the contrary, it gives us strength to persevere knowing that our struggles are not in vain. Each challenge we face with faith prepares us for eternity and conforms us more to the image of Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, always remember, hope is not just a fleeting feeling, but a firm anchor for our soul. Hebrews 6-19 In difficult times, when the storms of life threaten to shake us, our hope in God remains unshakable. I encourage you to hold firmly to God's promises, to seek strength in fellowship with other believers, and to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Remember, the difficulties we face today are forging in us a character that will endure for all eternity. May we, like Paul, say with confidence, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38-39 Before we close, I'd like to ask once again, if this message touched your heart, please don't forget to support us. Follow our Blessed Messages for You channel, like this video and leave a comment sharing how this message impacted your life. Your words might be exactly what someone needs to hear today. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.